so for that famous intro on the piano, we can try to replicate on the guitar a little bit. So if you play the C, and then take your pointer finger off and play a C major seven with just one strum. So. And then F. And then you can play that little piano riff by playing the G string second to third fret hammer on. And the B string underneath. So. And then back into the C. C major seven. So for the verses, we're playing those same intro chords, so C, C major 7 and F, and we're going... to the bridge part so we do an F and then an A minor with an E on the bass so we just play a normal A minor but playing that bottom E so and then B minor 7 and then you put your ring finger on the C note so third fret of the A string to a G, and you can play an open G, but I like to play the bar chord to get the piano notes, so. So what I'm playing there is the G bar chord on the third fret, and then I'm playing a sus4 sort of chord. So put your pinky finger on the 5th fret of the G string. And then play a normal G7 bar chord. And that probably ain't how he exactly plays it on the piano, but it sort of sounds like what he's playing for the acoustic guitar. So. And then you're back into the verse part. So for that chorus, you want to come out of that. And then you go to an F. C to a G. And then C. And then this part, it does like a load of quick changes. And you can play it simply, so you can play. So you can just do C and then an E7. F, G, C, C, F, G, C, 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 C. But that'd be boring. So we want to play something a little bit more. T a uh, little bit more melodic and following the piano a bit more. So if we play the F. C, 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 E7, E7. So. So that's C. through 
one more time that little C part. So C, C major seven, E, E seven, and for that E seven, I'm just playing normal E, taking my ring finger off and putting my pinky on the B string of the third fret. Mm -hmm. 